Just another day. Just another day, God. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back to watch this video. My name is Remy. If you do not know, I am the face and the brain behind the episode Spontaneous. And thank you so much for stopping by watching this video again. Um, in this video, I am going to be doing a review and demo of the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Now, this isn't a new foundation, but they recently had a relaunch of the foundation where they included darker shades in the range, and I think they expanded some more, they put some more in between shades. So I'm going to be doing a review and a demo of the foundation so you guys can see the foundation, see what it's all about, see how it blends, and see if it's worth your money, basically. In the UK, there's been a recent relaunch of the foundation, and there are now 23 shades in the line. Okay, so the foundation. How much is the foundation? The foundation was, is currently $7.99 in Superdrug and Boots. If you live in the UK, I don't know how much it is if you're in America, but I think it's under, it's usually under nine or ten dollars, something around along those lines. But currently in the UK, it's seven ninety nine in Boots and Super Dog. Which is in the foundation, there is thirty milliliters of foundation in this bottle, and that's a standard foundation amount. So I think for seven ninety nine, you're getting a good value for your money, really, based on based on um, what's it called, based on quantity because there's some much more expensive foundations that usually only just come with 30 ml as well so based on quantity you are getting a lot for your money um shipping time there's no need for shipping time you can walk into any super dog um or boots and get it and you know try it out i ordered mine from super dog though just so i could have the option of trying out the shades so if you're not sure of the shade you are i would i would probably recommend you order it online on super dog because super dog has a refund policy so if it doesn't match you you don't have to keep the thing you don't have to keep the thing you don't have to keep the foundation if, it, if the shade doesn't match you can always return it and get another shade which is exactly what i did consistency and formula this is a very liquidy foundation so like i don't know if it says well it's described as a super blendable foundation but i guess that doesn't really affect the fact that it's very liquidy so like see it's the epitome of a liquid foundation it's so liquid and um yeah you probably want to be sure you work fast with it so it doesn't just drip all over your body and just like stain everything okay so the formula of the foundation is supposed to be a very um it's supposed to give your skin a very radiant skin like finish and i do agree that it does that and it also adds this glow to your face which i really love it's going to be really great in winter so i can't wait to use it in the winter if you're looking for a matte finish foundation this is not the foundation for you this even if you look at the foundation it has some gold reflexes in it i'm not sure if i'm sure you guys can see it so it has in the light it has some gold reflexes in it so definitely if you're looking for a matte finish, this is not the foundation for you. But this does work very well with matte primers. I'm currently wearing a matte primer, the Kiko um, Matte Base Primer. And it stayed matte for a couple of hours, but it's still, the shine still starts to come through. And um, shade range, the shade range is very weird. Like, so all this while that has been out, I've always wanted to try the foundation, but like, the darkest shade I ever saw was 8N. And if you guys are familiar with the shades, 8N is like the darkest shade I always find. And 8N is too yellow for me and slightly too light for me but the shade i currently have which is 9c is too orange for me so like the undertones basically the undertones in the foundation are a mess but like say if you do like your, a full face of foundation like now since i'm wearing a full face of foundation where i'm wearing a full face of makeup where i have highlighted my face i contoured as well and i did everything else it actually works because it does it kind of gives my face a bronzy look like a very tan look which isn't such a bad thing but if i was to use this foundation on its own it looks very orange and i look like <laughs> so keep that in mind but the shade i have is the shade 9c wear time the longest i've had it on is actually now i've had it on for about six hours now and it's still going strong it doesn't look and i, I set my face as well when i did my makeup i set my face with a powder and i think that did help and i also used a matte primer beneath the i also use the matte primer beneath i'm also currently wearing a matte primer beneath the foundation so i would definitely recommend to wear a primer under and set it just to make sure it lasts longer but i have tried it without setting or wearing any primer or anything and it stayed on my face for a good six hours and it looked fine like it looked like i had just applied my face so i would definitely say that for 7.99 it does a very good job of lasting i wouldn't say i think I'm not sure if it's still advertised as a 24 hour foundation. I will double check and I will include it in the video, but I wouldn't say it's a 24 hour foundation because it's very light and I think at some point it will start to break up. I think it can, it could potentially do 12 hours. It could potentially do 12 hours, but you know, we'll see. 
we'll see about that and would i purchase it again yes i'll definitely purchase it again because it's very affordable and i really like the way it looks on my skin and i just love the finish of the foundation like it just looks so luminant luminant <laughs> it just looks so luminous and dewy and i think it's going to be amazing especially in the winter when your skin just looks so crustified and you're just looking so pale i think it'd be great for adding color back to my skin during the winter so i mean even though the color the particular color i have 9c is the wrong undertone for me i think it still works based on the fact that i still go back and highlight my face and everything so it kind of works in a sense so i mean i definitely would say it's worth a try so you guys should definitely try out the foundation and let me know what you think about the foundation so i'm also going to be doing a demo of the foundation so i'll be showing you guys how i apply it and you know how it works basically so essentially i applied it with a blending brush in stippling motions because it's very liquidy so there's no need to drag it really i just used the brush to bounce it off my skin and it, it just it just went on beautifully i'm very impressed with the foundation especially for 7.99 i really i really can't complain for 7.99 really if there were any things i would um, you know feedback to you know l'oreal i would definitely say they should try and include more yellow undertones because not every dark skin person has cool undertones like personally i have yellow and red undertones so it's kind of annoying because this just makes me look so orange on its own and i wouldn't have minded if you know it would it, it had a tiny bit of yellow in it a tiny bit of yellow in it would have been great but you know it's 7.99 i can't really complain too much but at the same time if there was anything i would definitely say in the range they should definitely try and include more yellow undertones for the darker colors because not all dark skin people have cool undertones or have red in their undertone and yeah that's pretty much all i would say i don't really have a problem with the liquidiness of the foundation i would just say be careful when you're using it so you don't stain yourself but other than that i'm very impressed and if i was to give it a rating i think four is a bit too generous because i was very irritated initially about the whole color trying to find the color was so annoying because like i tried 10w the darkest shade that looked like i looked like darkness basically like it was just it was like whoa there what are you doing but um what else um yeah i'll definitely give it a 3.5 out of 5 and i think that's a good rating that's a good enough rating for a foundation the rating might even go higher but for now based on you know the whole shade range and everything which was initially annoying i would definitely give it a 3.5 but i would definitely say you should try it out if you can find a shade that suits your skin in uh, that suits your skin or you know that you can work with i would definitely say try it because i really like the way the foundation wears and i really like the way it's performing for 7.99 anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this video feel free to thumbs up to comment share the video like subscribe you know the whole shebang definitely comment though i really like seeing you guys comments and just it just lets me know if you guys are enjoying what i'm doing because i am enjoying it myself so like you know i don't want to go off on a tangent and just be entertaining myself but yes i really hope you guys enjoyed the video yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye I'm swerving down Ocean Drive Where nobody can see it